Hello, I'm Valerie from Midlothian in Scotland. Thank you for watching my channel today. I am going to show you the thank you cards that I have been making for my customers using the new in colors in the annual catalogue. So today I'm going to use the Fresh Freesia. So I've cut a piece of cardstock that is 14 and a half centimeters by 21 centimeters and I have scored it at 10 and a half. So we'll just fold it in half, take our bone folder. And then I have cut a piece of um, designer series paper again in the fresh freesia and I have cut this at 14 centimeters by 10 centimeters for a layer. Um, I am going to use some of the evening evergreen chevron ribbon you will find the ribbon on page 139 of the annual catalog and what we will do is um, we will put the ribbon on before we stick the backing onto the card so the ribbon probably wants to be about here and we will take some glue and the glue that we are going to use is the where have I put my glue? Here we go. The stamping seal. So we'll take some stamping seal. To start it off, sometimes it's best just to maybe do it on the silicon mat. Um the silicon mat craft sheet is on page 167 of the new annual catalogue. Um, if you don't have a demonstrator, I would be delighted to send you a catalogue um, in the post. If you just email me, I will get one posted out to you. So we'll just put some glue on the back here and just attach our ribbon. So this, um, the Evening Evergreen, it's one of the new in colours from Stampin' Up! as well. just run some glue on here and then we'll pop this onto the card like this what I've then done is I have punched out some daisies um, using the large and the medium punches and I have used the fresh freesia designer series paper again and the daisy punches um, you'll find them on page 150 of the catalogue so what we'll do is we'll just layer these up and um, I'll use some mini glue dots and I take a pick tool and we'll just put a glue dot on here gaps like that and then the smaller one we'll take another blue dot and we'll just pop that on top like that I've also um, punched out using the um, evening evergreen cardstock some sprigs using the sprig punch now again um, this punch you'll find on page 150 of the catalogue along with the daisies so we will put the daisies on to the card and we'll use some of the um, 
any dimensionals. We'll just pop those on the back. Take the backing off. And this just gives it a little bit of a lift. And we'll put them there, like this. And then with the sprigs, we'll take the glue dots again and we'll put them on the front of the sprigs because they're going to stick to the underneath of the daisies. Just push that down like that. And yeah, now I think what I'll do is I'll maybe put a glue dot underneath the ribbon. Stabilises it just a little bit. Okay, so um, what we are then going to do is um, choose a sentiment. Now, um, this is the stamp set, the um, Daisy Lane stamp set, and the sentiment I think that I'm going to use is the smile. I will use the evening evergreen stamp pad to stamp that out and we are going to do it on a piece of white cardstock backed on to some fresh freesia. Now again I've used another punch um, which is this punch and it is the double oval punch so you've got the, the two punches on the back. Um, we'll stamp it out first. So we'll just open up that pad. in it and we'll just leave that to dry for one second and um, what I also want to do is I want to cut out a layer for the inside and we'll do that in um, white and here's just a, a piece from my stash we will put this on the inside which gives you something nice to, to write anything extra on. We'll just glue this up with the stamp and seal and I think that we will do smaller daisy and we'll just pop that in the middle and we'll do it with the fresh freesia. I love these new in colours. There's five of them and they are the fresh freesia, the evening evergreen, Papaya, polished pink, and soft succulent. There we go. And now we will just layer up this sentiment. Um, again, I think I'll use the mini dimensionals put this in the middle And 
I'll just pop some glue dot dots on the back. Quite a simple card but very effective, not using too many different stamp sets or papers, just with the green just making the fresh freesia pop out a little bit. So we'll put that there and then to finish it off I am going to use the, um, the In Colour Jewels. Um, and I think that we will go with the um, with the larger evening evergreen. So we'll just pick that up and we'll just pop it in the middle there. And I think that we might actually use some of the a couple of the smaller ones just here. the sentiment. There you go. And that's our card. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for joining me. Bye bye.